Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're just about to get into our game very soon, but we have a few more things we want to discuss. Theo, what are you thinking? Yeah, just uh, just talk about how the game's going to go. As we said, our Saints, very, very strong. We, I would casted a game of theirs a couple days ago, I believe. I don't remember when it was, but I casted them for sure, and they looked pretty damn strong. They got a very nice 3-0 victory, I believe, and it was against a good team as well. They were playing a very strong team uh, who put up a very great fight, but when it mattered most, they really picked them apart. I think just playing around the ARs is their best idea. They love holding those long sight lines and flipping the spawns early. In Hardpoint, you'll see they're going to give up that... Uh, garbage time. They're going to give up those 15, 20 seconds at the end of every hard point to really rotate around to the next site. It's going to be terminal for the first map. Such an OG map. Everyone knows how this map works. And uh, even in this newer Modern Warfare 3, it's a lot of fun to watch how, how the hard point plays out. Yeah, terminal is such a fun map to watch. A classic. I'm so glad it's back here in the new game. So it's amazing to watch. And I think I saw them do a hard point on Terminal a little while ago, and they were pretty dominant in that game. So we'll see if that power returns here, if they still have that gusto and that ability to perform there on the map. I don't know if there has been any roster changes. I'll get back to you on that soon. I think it's Probably pretty much not. the same roster. Yeah, and it is a best of five. It goes hard point, S and D, control... S and, no, something and then S and D. I yeah. think, think S and D is always last in mm. game fives. It always you know. comes down to the wire yeah. there. Very stressful. Single life game mode is a great way to end it off. But as you can see, all the players were in the lobby. So yeah. I think we're going to be getting into it very, very soon. So with that said, keep your anticipation <laughs> wanting because we're about to go in. In just a few more moments, here we are. We're loading into the map here on Terminal. Yep, and we're going to see our Saints, I believe, start. No, this is going to be Iowa starting in the Terminal side. Let's see how the fight for the first hard point goes. And we are off. Going to see the ARs rocked by a lot of members here. The MCW, definitely the strongest going in the men right now. But Find the first, gonna find wow. the frenzy, finding two, and it's gonna be all the Saints dropping in a matter of seconds. A great start for Iowa State as they fully wipe out the Saints, and now they're gonna look to get some time on this hard point. KB's gonna have to be careful about the flank here. Very in such a good position, won't be able to find the shots. As Insight finds one as well, and now the Saints are gonna look to take back a little bit of space. Insight's gonna push to the side, it's gonna get taken down, but the trade should come out. Frenzy finding a couple nice shots there. Priestley does find the fit trade, but Fuzon's able to take him out in 25 seconds and still taking four. The side of Iowa State. I think we're going to see the Saints start rotating over towards the next hard point. Yeah, Iowa State looking to be the underdogs in this game mode. And now, just looking, showing utter dominance right now. As the Saints are unable to get a foothold, yeah, they're getting kills here and there. They're just unable to get this hard point down. The second one starts to change over, I believe. Same dominance, but look at that. Recently, KB get a double kill there. It's going to be massive going to the next map. The Saints have current objective right now. KB gets another one outside. Now they're just going to secure this point and start getting some time. Getting the kills and they have to control the map. They don't have any points ticking up right now. They are down. Brandon gets one. Brandon gets two. That might be enough. Frenzy gets shuts down KB though. Now the Saints have their points ticking up. Time is ticking. This is huge. 1v1. Brandon has a three multi-kill going right now. Frizzy gets another one, but Cabela's gonna shut down Brandon. Now that's a good spot there behind the, the plants. That's gonna be some good coverage, but it looks like he gets taken out as well. Enslea watching him from behind. And now the Saints are just about to tie them in points. Beautiful second hard point here for the Saints. Got themselves back into the game and are gonna take the lead off of this one as they're finding the shots. KB getting one there. Priest is gonna find one as well, and the Saints are gonna look to rotate over. As Fusen got really bad spawns, and Iowa are having really bad spawns here. If St. Clair can just find a couple picks here, which they do, they find one. It's going to be all up to Cabela's here. He has to stay alive for a while here, but he's going to get pushed down, and KB's going to take him down. That should be the spawns flipping for the side of the Saints. But let's say that Fusen finds a couple living on 8 HP here inside of Brandon, finding the last few picks. He's going to be all up to Verbal C, but he will go down. That should be a lot of time. Now, for St. Clair, they're finding a lot of picks through the middle of the map. The spawns are flipping completely and speaking of flipping the lead has changed St. Clair able to take the lead and counting now as 
Iowa State are just struggling to get anywhere near the hard point. They are in the lead by about 10 points or so, so they're just struggling to get back on. They have a really good spot here behind all these columns and all these structures here. So he gets another there, headshot from behind the burger shop here. And so they're gonna get one, and so gonna get one right back. Now the Saints are running away with it right now. They're taking oh, the lead in points and taking the lead in kills as well as it looks like Iowa State just struggling to find any opening here. Climb under the wall, it it down very, very low, but doesn't get that kill. And now the hard point swaps over and the Saints still have a lot of time left on this one. It's gonna get one. KB gonna get another. That's gonna be a whole team wipe from St. Clair, Iowa State. Not looking good after a very strong start. And this should be a lot of points going to the Saints. I would say Burger Town is the hardest hard point to take back. You could just hide in the back there and have your teammates watch the cross. KB is gonna find one, he's gonna find the second as Insta goes down as well. He's gonna, gonna go up middle here. We'll get shot at Brandon KB finding a couple as well. It's gonna be so much time over to the Saints. Brent is gonna find one, but will get traded out. A lot of trades going out, but St. Clair still able to stay on the point. You can see Iowa State conceding the rest of this hard point. Will look to make their way over to the next one as the Saints are going to get around 145 points when this one ends. Fuzion's, it's going to go down to Inslea there as the Saints are definitely finding a lot of picks. KB 15 and 6, absolutely popping off to start this series off. Playing so well for St. Clair in these last few games, but it's going to be a hard point. The Saints have to retake here. Brandon's able to find one. Look at the shots there from KB. Able to find second. There's one right under him. He has no idea that he's there. We'll be able to stay alive and we'll look for the push here with the pistol. Should be able to find it here. No, what a shot there from Kuzian, but Priestley does find the trade, and St. Clair are going to be able to find the good spawns. But as I say, that Fusion spawns right behind the point there. I don't think the Saints will expect to be there. He finds one. Rivers is going to find one. Frenzy finds one as well. It's going to be a lot of time go over, going over to his side of Iowa State as they find the clip. Even if they get all the points here, though, they still will not be tied with St. Clair. That last two hard points just gave them such a major lead here. And now, it's up to Iowa State. They don't want to lose it here. If the Saints get this, they're going to be just running with it. And it looks like Iowa State is doing an amazing job at defending any attacks from St. Clair in every single direction. Direction. As soon as you say that, though, Priestley and Brandon get a nice double kill, kill there. Watch the hallway and Priestley gets the long range kill there. But still, the hard point is going to go over to Iowa State. Uncontested by St. Clair, but it looks like St. Clair is playing for next. Yeah, they're going to be playing for that middle hard point just to reset. We've been through all the hard points on the map. Now, the second rotation as Priestley goes down from across the hallway. This could be the start for Iowa. Walk in and say it's gonna have to go massive here. That's not able to find one. Brandon KB will find a couple. Brandon finds a third there. It's just one more member of Iowa's KB is able to stay alive. So slithery on that side. Gonna be taking up the points for them there. He's able to find one living on six HP. We'll be going down Brandon as well. And this should be Iowa State going for the push. But KB is able to find three with one clip. And this should be a fourth as Priestley is able to find them. Great shots there, as it's gonna give Saints a massive lead here. And say is able to find one, can he find the second? No, he will be going down. You can see Iowa's rotated well for the next point, but Saints are definitely gonna look to flip that as Frenzy is on the flank. We'll be going down to Enslea there. This is a good rotation from Iowa, but they're dropping like flies. Still, St. Clair having a huge 100 point lead here as Brandon goes down in the spawn. Major multi-kill there, that was amazing. Priestley is still carrying that energy there, getting a nice double kill, We're running out of bullets, using every last drop that's left in the mag there. Maybe gonna get a nice <laughs> kill streak there from the skies above. Now he's gonna go in trying to play around this pillar. Dodges, but can't outrun Priestley as he finds his target. Now, Frank's gonna get one outside, gonna go into the cockpit, maybe get a nice shots from the window there. Take out the trophy system as well. Brennan gonna get a kill on the post. Oh, and wow, three kills coming up from the Saints. Brennan's only gonna get one in return. No one really has hard point control right now. It's kind of out in the open. No one can really stake their claim and start getting up points. But it's gonna be St. Clair who's gonna be the one to try and get their points up and at him there. Play around this little truck here. Gonna get downed by Priestley. Friends is gonna get Enslea. Now the Saints are in a little bit of a precarious spot here. They have a good defensive setup, but they are unable to rotate for next. Saints are one hard point away from winning this map, but KB has to be very careful not to go down here. And it's a good start for Iowa State on this new point, but Frenzy is going a bit too aggressive with the pistol. Will be going down. Let's see how Hawk decides to play this one. Knows that Insaya is right around the corner, but Brandon walking up mid is able to find one. Insaya does fall, but let's see how KB and Brandon try to play the flank. Brandon's gonna find another one jumping through there. KB is gonna look 
to find one as well as Rusi's on the great flank here. He's gonna find Brand and KB will go down as well. Shoots his teammate a couple of times for good measure, but it's a great point here from Iowa Sinclair. Maybe gonna give this one a last shot and say he's gonna find one. We'll be able to get out with his life. Let's see how this peak will come through. Brandon's here to help him out as well. But Priest and Ensay is finding a couple. St. Clair might just look for to play for the next point in Burgertown as all they need is 40 is 38 more points. Yeah, they're so close there, but they're a little bit far right now because they're just unable to get Iowa State off of this hard point. They're in a really good spot right now, but maybe Ensley is going to be the one to do it. Finds one, find another. KB can find the other. Now there's just two left defending it. That's the last one down. They move them all there. There's still one defending, but the Saints are set up for the next hard point. And now time is kicking for Iowa State. They need to get the Saints off this and quick as they're only 30 points away from taking this hard point. But with team kills coming out from the entire team there, it's going to be hard. Only one left is going to be up to Verbose to try and get on there and can contest. But will he be able to do it? That's the question. I'm going to find one. Verbose going to take one down. Down as well. Now, oh, the flying kicking. They're all going to push in just oh, a few points uh, away. They're contesting it. Try and get a kill. They trade. Brandon gets one, trade again. There we go, so back and forth. Will the Saints be able to win it? Only 10 more seconds, nine, eight. Time is ticking. Just a few more moments. He's gonna go in, but that is going to be it. All the pushes have been stopped, and that is St. Clair taking game one, or round one. <laughs> a great start from them. KB having an absolutely monstrous performance, 28 and 12 or something. Insane, spectacular gameplay from there. there. And they're gonna be able to take game one. Just Getting off to a bit of a slow start there, Iowa definitely, definitely started off hot and the Saints were not ready for it, but after the Saints got their composure back, they were really able to play off their frags. You see KB and Priestley just dominating in the, in the kill death department there. A great first game from them, you know, they're playing off their frags perfectly, they're able to maintain some time. When, when they know that the, a point is lost, they don't overcommit and force all their hands at a dead play. And they just played the map perfectly, even after going down 40-0, just getting a couple of very solid rotations in and happily taking the first map. Yeah, that was an amazing, like, responsive gameplay there as well. Iowa State was just super aggressive in the beginning, and... It kind of scared the Saints there. They're scattered, they get team wiped, and that kind of put them in a st spot where they had to sit back and think about what they could do better there. And they figured it out that if they just wait, if they play defensively, Iowa State will come running through, and they kind of baited them out with some like amazing positioning there. And they also got Burger Town like, completely locked yeah, down. Yeah, a couple so times. Pretty lucky. So amazing gameplay all around from the Saints. Yeah, and you could see everyone using that AR, just spraying across the map, no recoil. It feels like very strong weapon picked up by everybody, but we're going to be going in to search and destroy next. What do you think we can see maybe from both sides in a way slower type of game mode? That's going to be interesting. Maybe when Iowa State is forced to slow down and play a little bit more carefully, they'll have a little bit of an advantage, but with the defensive gameplay I saw from the Saints last round, I think that it's going to go their way once again. Yeah, I mean, I think the Saints will be good in the Search and Destroy. Definitely one of their stronger game modes. They always seem to clutch up when it matters the most, and s and is when you really see the clutch team come out. Respawn, there's players who are good at respawn, players who are good in s and but our Saints just seem to be good at both. They play both game modes so, so well, but with that being said, we're gonna throw it to a very, very quick break, and we'll be right back with map two. Don't go anywhere.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to Game 2 of College Cod League here. It's going to be a good one. We're here in the Premier League. It's going to be Game 2 of Iowa State versus St. Clair College. We're right in the thick of it, and it looks like disconnect. we're missing a player, a little bit of disconnect. That's probably why we had the long wait, is the lobbies are just not <laughs> working correctly here. As you can see, we're here with the players. And the coach, we're trying to work things out. Theo, what are you thinking? I mean, <laughs> they just, you see, they really want to start the game up, but Call of Duty having its troubles, just, yeah, you see, <laughs> just throwing nope. the hands up, no idea what's really going on, just can't get into the lobby. Not the best scenario out there, but, you know, we'll be, we'll be, we're trying to get into the lobby, we want to get these games on the road, just... Sometimes the ball doesn't swing your way. Um, hopefully in the next cod this will be fixed, you know? Uh, I don't know if it will be. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, there's always hope. You I need hope. hope. Without hope, what can can't even do anything. Uh, but anyways, as we load in this game here, let's review the last game that we had. Iowa State University, very, very strong dominant start. But um, the Saints managed to win it all back. Yeah, they were able to bring it back, as you said. But, you know, we don't want to keep rambling about the first game forever. So we're going to go back to a very short break. Sorry about the technical difficulties. But as soon as we get into game, we'll be back with game two. So, yeah, don't go anywhere. We're going to throw it to a quick break. We'll be right back.
Hello, everybody. We are here finally in game two. The lobby is finally working. Iowa State versus <laughs> St. Clair College. Here we are, S and D. Pulled it into round one. It's looking like Iowa State has the bomb right now and is trying to make their way and they get the first pick. Priestley goes down early. Around that flash, but getting pushed by a couple. Great challenge coming out there from Frenzy. He's able to find the pick on five HP and now two in a 2v4 situation. This round's gonna be very, very hard to win for the Saints. Iowa State have a lot of time to work with. Let's see. Maybe he can find anything, find some shots on Frenzy. They won't find the kill just yet. These long sight lines are very important on this map. The shots will come out from Brendan. They won't be able to find the pick that Nate. Should be doing a little bit of damage as well, but won't find anyone. KB going on a massive flank. Will be able to find one, but Frenzy is able to get the challenge there and does find and puts Brandon in a 1v4 scenario. He knows the bomb's going down. I think he might go for a ninja defuse. That would be some play, That's wouldn't it? It will be a very hard one to pull off. He will be able to find one, takes him down, but on this map, I think very hard to find a 1v4 clutch. Iowa State starting off strong again and able to take the very first round of the SD. And Iowa State hoping not to repeat history by starting strong but not being able to make the finish. So we'll see if the Saints will repeat history on their side. May make a little bit of a comeback here, see if they have a good response. To that and that attack. was a great round from friends. He also won the state from Iowa. He was able to get three kills there to start that one off and Saints going to have to really put on the pressure now on the attack side. Let's see how they decide to play this one. They will be going up a Priestley going to cook up a nade. Let's see if it finds its target. Looked like it was good, but could not get the kill there. Saints moving up quite quickly. Frenzy though, in a great position here, will get shot a little bit. We'll be able to make it out alive. Throw that Semtex there to make some space, but Brandon will go down early. Let's see if KB can find the trade here. Priestley finds one. KB's gonna sneak up on one as well. 3v2 now for the side of the Saints as they look. They're able to get the plan down, but Enslaya does go down. Great play there from Fuzion. Ripple's gonna look for something as well. Won't be able to find it. KB on 20 HP will be able to keep his life as the bomb's planned and Saints near defender for 40 more seconds. Yeah, 2v2 scenario. Bomb is down. They have visual on one, but do they know the other is lurking close behind? A nice cross guard right now going. We can take some shots. He's behind the cover though. Because he's gonna take the gunfight, goes down to Fuzon. Now it's a 1v2 scenario for KB. He's two from both sides. Which one will he take? He finds one. Find the other, he finds one kill there. He goes down anyways, 15 seconds, and I believe that is enough to defuse the bomb. But what a close round. But that's Iowa State taking a lead, 2-0. Very strong start from Iowa. They're really finding these flanks in St. Clair are just losing their one-on-one -on -one battle. So great start for Iowa, but I've seen this before. St. Clair can definitely get hot in the SMD as the shot comes out there from Fuzon. Giving them a 2-0 lead, some very good early score lines for the side of Iowa. It's going to be 4-0 from Fuzion and 3-1 and from Frenzy in these first two rounds. Just looking so, so strong. Saints definitely have to regroup a little bit and just find some better plays. But it's going to be a push coming up from Iowa State onto that a side, a B side yet again. It seems like it's the more preferred plan spot for both teams. But instead, it's going to find Frenzy very, very early on. That's a massive pick for them. You could see how passive Iowa State are playing. They're kind of just sitting back and waiting for the Saints to make a mistake as KB almost makes one there. Will be able to get out with his life, but Iowa State definitely looking for the slow game and definitely looking to find some picks. Yeah, they are playing the long and far game right now, playing their long range, trying to get any little slip-ups, as you said. Playing the high ground as well. Just playing very defensively, even though they are on attack and Hopefully St. Clair does wake up to this soon as they can just sit back, relax, and just wait on the points for them to push. But I think they are just eager to get the kills, but I think now they're realizing that Iowa State is not making any pushes. Oh, but it looks like Brandon might have gotten eyes on Juan Fuzan going very, very low. If you only he knew he's right behind his critical there. I think he saw some movement. He's just down. It's a very sneaky spot he has right there behind the fence. But it looks like now they're gonna pause Posture towards A right now. Chris is gonna find one though, and ends like gonna get the other. Now it's all just down to verbose. He does not have bomb either, and the Saints do. So now he's gonna push into the snake pit and try and 
reclaim this bomb as the Saints settle down to start to cannon uh -oh. here. But wow, he walks right into the sight lines, and that is a first St. Clair win. Great round from the Saints there. Just finding those early picks really does carry the round, especially in a game with like SND and Saya sitting in the perfect spot here to find the final one there. And finally, the Saints get themselves on the board. Great round coming out there. They really got that pick super early on, which just let them push up very, very far and find the kills in the spawn there of Iowa. So now they're going to be on the attacking side. Let's see how our Saints decide to play this one. They don't really go towards the A side too much on this map. From what I've seen from them, they love hitting that B side. But I think if they could just switch it up one time and go over to A, Iowa would definitely not be ready for that one. Well, looks like Iowa's expecting that switch up as they are just totally guarding A right now. As the rest of the Saints, two of them run down towards B. Only Cabela's on the defense there watching a nice cross guard. And Brandon gets a nice double kill there with KB. That's going to be two of them off the board. like that three as KB finds another kill. And now, once again, I'm seeing a repeat of history all down to Verbose. And it's like it's very, very low. Oh. The final kill goes over to St. Clair, and that's another KB. round win for them. KB playing so amazingly. Able to get three that round. Putting himself on the board. We're going to see the final kill here. Coming out with a pistol, just playing so aggressive. And takes down the opponent there. Making the game 2-2. Now the Saints have turned it up a notch. They're finding these very early picks, which is what we talked about was going to be a very, very important. And, you know, after a bit of a rough start again against Iowa, they're able to pick up that second round. Going to look to keep the snowball rolling and win the rest of the rounds here. Yeah, there we go. Two to two. Who will take the lead here? Bellis has the bomb, and it looks like they're going to rush down towards me once again. Priestley's going to be the one to try and hold the line here. Trophy system in hand. Looks like the enemy team has trophy systems of their own. We see a little bit of a split push come out from Iowa State, but they are playing much more aggressively here as their defensive play of the last round did not work out for them. Provost is going to get the first kill on Priestley, and that's going to open up B for them. They try and flood in onto site, but there's one waiting for him, but Frenzy gets the kill, and so he's going to go down. And it's looking very good for Iowa State right now as it's just two left on the St. Clair team. There we go. He finds one, but one's right waiting behind him there. 3v1 for Brandon. Clutch or kick moment, will he be able to do it? I don't think so. He sends out a concussion grenade, not going to hit anything. The plant is going to go down for Iowa State. Brandon has a lot cut out for him. Does pop the dead silence, and this is going to be his one opportunity to maybe get a huge rotation over, but he has to go a bit quickly as the dead silence runs out. He has no idea where any of the opponents are, and as soon as the dead silence runs out, they will be able to hear where he's at. But can man Brandon maybe find a pick? You see Iowa fully stationary they're not moving at all they're holding these sight lines let's see if maybe they can hear brandon coming he does see one i believe should I be able to pick that up oh looking to maybe just wow. find the sneaky diffuse there doesn't find it in iowa state able to take a lead again three two for them as st Clair just can't go on that huge streak of rounds for themselves in the lead yeah the 1v3 is just a little bit too tough you know you can win the 1v2 but v3 the odds are just so sacked against you that's how how could it go any other way but well played from iowa state they had great positioning then they played the offensive amazingly now it's up to st Clair to respond here and try and keep the score line neck and neck here we go priestley has the bomb it looks like they're gonna rush towards b once again and it looks like cabela's moves on we have lurked there in mid grenade not gonna hit anything at all Back to B, gonna get hit with concussion, gets back to cover, and wow, Frenzy, just going off right now in this game, getting another early round kill, 3v4 is gonna be tough to come back from for the Saints. They would take out KB, but Ensaya is gonna find that trade, Frenzy playing a bit too aggressive there, will get taken down, 3v3 situation now, players on walking up pretty far, but will let go of that angle as soon as the Saints decide to pounce and maybe they can find a pick on him here early. They will be able to find it 3v2 situation. Just have to play a little bit passive here. They have to be careful on low HP as they're three man pushing Rebessi. They should be able to find him around the corner here. Nice shot from Brandon. Gives the Saints a 3v1. The plant should go down. It's off to Cabela's on the flank here. Maybe he's going to look for a pick onto Enslea, but as soon as he turns his corner, will get shot at. Nice shot for him to take down Enslea in the 1v2. Going to find some shots there. Onto previously won't be able to, onto Brandon, sorry, won't be able to find him there. 1v2 situation, Saints just have to play around the time of the bomb. Brandon 
Gonna be doing a bit of poke damage. They're gonna look to do so. Cabellus has to move forward. He can't just stay here and fire forever. Cabellus, he will get tagged up a little bit. Should get pushed by both members of the Kane Town Priestly around the corner. Will be able to take him down. 3-3 three, three game. The Saints look to crawl their way back into it. Yeah, Saints getting that nice two-round lead. He's gonna pay dividends later on as now they're neck and neck. Once again, just trading back and forth. We'll be the one who takes the lead though. We'll see if Iowa State can keep up with this tempo. Now it's in their court to keep up here. And as you can see, the team is looking pretty locked in. They're having a good time. It took a while to get into this game, so I'm sure everybody's glad to just be up and playing again. And once again, Cabellus seems to be the bomb carrier for the side of Iowa State as he has it once again. Will the Saints try and full guard B? Wow, that car Almost. explosion. Very, very close there, but the man should just barely dodge it. And now, the push towards B has come to a standstill. They're going to play the high ground play for picks once again. Yeah, they're going to be looking for it. As you can see, Cabell's moving up pretty far onto that B side, but not too deep yet. Let's see how KB decides to play this one. Moving up a little bit on the aggressive position will drop back to this little corner behind this excavator. Doesn't want, does want it to protect him from the bullets. Let's see what Iowa does. Still have a minute 15, a good amount of time. The shots will come out from Frenzy. He does find a couple good shots there on KB, but too far away to kill him that quickly. And the more time Saints shave off the clock, the better for them, as it looks like it might be a rotation coming up from Iowa, and they might look to wait, make their way over to onto that A site. Yeah, it's looking very good for Iowa right now. They do have a lot of control here over on A, but the Saints, everybody on both teams is still up and awake here. So this could be very, very dangerous to go for the plant right in the middle of the chaos, but they managed to get the kill. They turn around. Favorite time is running up for themselves. They need to get the plant down and soon, but with all those kills on the board, how could it go any other way? And now the Saints are just whittled down to one. It's going to be KB. Finds his pick, though. He finds a double kill. 1v2. That's winnable here. Bomb plant is going to go down as we speak. The kill streaks are hearing the chaos. The fog of war is upon us here. Will he be able to walk through it though and take his team to victory? Reload. They want to finally take the lead here, try and steal it away from Iowa because they are playing the attack amazingly. Both teams are. Throw to concussion. That's going to alert them as to where they are. He clears out that corner. Now there's two watching the cross guard here. He can't go to the first two. He needs to find the pick. He's going to try and find one. Almost oh. finds the other, but does not quite do it. Iowa State takes the win, and once again, we're back for the, into the back and forth. Yeah, Iowa, a very good round from them. Just found three picks. KB tried in the 1v4. So, so close, but just couldn't get it. And Iowa State, yet again, refused to give up the lead. St. Clair have not led once so far in this search and destroy. Iowa really firing on all cylinders and just outplaying the Saints, I would say, on many levels. But... It's only a one round game so far from over. You can see everyone locked in. They're going to try and get this one back. And let's see how they decide to do th So it's going to be another B push, it looks like, coming out from the Saints. Let's see how fast they decide to play this one. As Cabela is going to be all his lonesome here. On this B side, trying to defend his KB. Gets taken down very low by that grenade. Iowa State really holding down mid here, but Saints just can't seem to push through onto the B side. Brandon finds wow. the poser of his opponent, won't find the kill, but that should give Saints a lot of room to work with as a Brandon KB find the first two picks of the round. Find two picks, they're really floating in onto, onto B here, only two left on the side of Iowa State. It's going crazy here, it's total chaos, and it looks like the Saints are going to be able to get the plant down, and they get another pick. Now it's a 1v4 situation for Verbose. Don't know if he's going to be able to do it as the Saints are all in their defensive positions. Every cross guard is guarded. And KB's going for the chase right now. They both are very, very low. He throws out, gets the concussion, narrowly dodges it here. But he's looking the wrong way. And that's going to be KB getting the final round kill for the Saints. And now it's 4v4. We're back in it. Back and forth every single time. The Saints are there to match him. And KB had that nice round one kill. If only he was looking the other way. But... It was a 1v4. How could it have gone any other way? That's what we expect from the Saints. I mean, KB is on absolute fire. He's averaging more than the kill around in this SD. Was the top fragger in the hard point last game, really trying to find the frags here for his team to bring this one back. Could look at the look at the scoreboard. He's just out fragging everybody in the lobby. Only one in double digits. 2.0 KD, but gonna need to 
have the victory. Otherwise, all those kills don't don't really matter. Yep. So <laughs> let's see how Iowa State decide to approach this attack. You can see how aggressively KB is playing. He's going to look for that challenge, but Fuzion's going to be able to find that one. And that's a great start for Iowa. Maybe a bit too aggressive there from KB, trying to find too much. But you got to take it around at a time. Priestley has to be careful taking a lot of damage. And so it's going to find a pick back. Now it's a 3v3. Huge pickup for them there. And it's looking like the bomb is making its way towards that B side as all the momentum on A is stopped. You can see them running through. Let's see how Priest decides to play this one. Won't be able to find one. Even one there would have been huge for him. And you can see the other two Saints are just locked away on A. The plant should be going down for Iowa in this round. It's looking very, very good for them. Yeah, Iowa once again looking very, very strong in the attack round. Maybe this is just an attack sided map. So they are just playing perfectly. Brandon and Enslay here to try and make a move, make a push, find a pick, find something as time is taking only 30 or so seconds left on the clock to get the defuse in time. Now, push in, gonna get a spray, trying to make some opening for their team. Something, they need to find anything right now, but right now they're just playing defensively and wow, back and forth, Iowa State once again wins it, getting the nice double kill there to end the round. And now they are on map point. St. Clair have to be perfect and win these last two rounds in order to bring it back. Iowa just seem to be able to grab the lead on every single attack on Saints are trying to crawl their way back into it, but just can't seem to do so. Let's see how they decide to play the attack. It's still one round at a time, can't really win it all here, so can't get too excited, but Saints have been attacking this B side for it seems like the entire game. Haven't been over to that A side once. But it looks like as I say that, they're going to be making their way over there. It's going to be all on Verbosi here to maybe find the defense here. He's going to be the only one really holding it down. Frenzy in a great cross map location as well. Can shoot across the map there if anyone decides to go for the plant. So Saints have to clear a couple members out. And you can see they're playing really slowly here. Scared to make a mistake. Frenzy's going to get double stunned up but no nade will come to follow and say now. Trying to make his way onto that A side. Will be able to find the shots onto one. They know that one's behind the tank as well. Can they pick that one up? Yes, they do. KB finds it there. 4v2 situation now for the Saints. Plant onto A. Should be going down any second in this round. Should be as close to over as it gets. It's getting down to the wire here. Only one more left there. Only one more left now for both. Once again, seems to be the one always last to die. Now he has a 1v3 situation, could be a little bit worse, but nope, that's gonna go over to St. Clair once again. Round First 11. to six rounds, it's down to the wire. Round 11, the most fun Call of Duty there ever is, the most intense. You know, when it's a map five, it's even more intense, but even in the map two, it's a very, very important round. Could swing the series either way. Let's see if our Saints can pick it up. They're gonna be on the defense, yeah, I believe. Yeah, lost every, every yeah. both teams have lost nearly every single defense. So it's looking to go the way of Iowa State, but we'll see, because the Saints, I believe they lost their first attack. Yeah. They're so decimated there. So it's just gonna be a tough uphill battle for them here. I mean, the Saints have won one defensive round at least. Yes. For sure, that might be it though. So let's see how they decide to play this one. Brandon's gonna have a huge 1v1 here against Fuzion. Yes, Fuzion's gonna see him, he will. Brandon's able to survive on 54 HP. Goes for the re-challenge on wow. 25 HP now. Very dangerous play there. Fuzion though, down to 80 HP, getting shot by a couple of members. Nobody will go down there so close to getting a first blood for either side. Let's see how the Saints continue this defense. A minute 20, plenty of time left for Iowa State, and they're gonna be looking to make their way up that B side. Brandon just taking a lot of damage here, but as long as he stays alive, is all that matters. You do regenerate to 150 HP in Call of Duty, so not too much to worry about, but Fuzion's making so much space on his lonesome on this B side. Let's see how he decides to play it in Slayer. In a very, very dangerous position here, as the bomb is gonna be right in front of him. Does he have any idea that the bomb's right behind him? Wow. Does find one. Will he be able to find the second? He's kind of in the middle of that whole team, but that first pick will slow Iowa down se severely. Yeah, Iowa in a really bad position here. Only 40 seconds left. The Saints can win this. It's going to look very, very good for them. Well, let's try to push up. Get sprayed down a little bit. Finds one. He wins the gunfight here. It's a 2v4 situation. 1v4 situation for Bose. is once again the last one alive. He does have bomb. He may be able to make something work here. He does not. And now that is going to be it. St. Clair clutching it up on the defense. Oh, we're taking it all home here for that round. Wow, what an amazing 
game to watch here. Game two was great. We're gonna go into game. St. Clair. Take this all home. But wow, what a back and forth S and game. What a great game there. KB and Enslaya in the double digits on the kill feed again. Just such great play from them. And they're able to find the clutch there in the last round to bring it home. Very important map. Now we're going to be going to map three as Saints look to take the clean sweep. But Iowa refused to go down without a fight. We could see how hard they battled there. And they're definitely going to look to do the same in game three. Yeah, when Iowa slowed down there, really took their time. They played amazingly there, only losing that last round, like uh, with the Saints just going so back and forth. But, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles when you're on S and D. So even if this does somehow go over to game five, if the Saints lose the next one and the next one, then we'll see another, I'm sure, close <laughs> match there. Yeah. But uh, with all that being said, Let's hope the next round does not have such a long <laughs> intermission because uh, hopefully the lobby's up and working. But with all that said, we're going to throw it to a quick break. We'll be right back with more COD. Short intermission it was. Here we are back in game three. Iowa State University versus St. Clair College. Wow, taking the high ground there, but getting punished for it by proposing. Well, it's there. We see Ensai gonna get two kills as well. Theo, this is another, this is gonna be our first control map of the day. It's looking very close, but now St. Clair's even this indeed. Yeah, control, a very interesting game mode. It's gonna be Iowa State on the attack, St. Clair on the defense end. Right now, if you look at the lives remaining, St. Clair are absolutely frying Iowa State up six lives, but KB will go down there to Verba C. This map is an OG classic map, for Ver released way before Modern Warfare 3, but it's a map that players definitely know how to play well. But with 28 seconds left, it's going to be Iowa State that really need to pick it up. They're all on that A side. KB won't be able to find anything. I'd say it does find one. Let's see if a big nade comes here from Priest. He will be able to find anyone. Yes, wow. he will be able to find one. But the trade comes out from Fuzon. 24 seconds and ticking. As long as they're on this side, it won't be ticking. Brandon with a huge pickup there. And Insay is able to find one as well. KB is able to find one as well. And Iowa State get aced. 16 seconds left. It's so hard to make your way across the map on this map. As KB is able to find one. Priestley takes one down. 10 seconds left. They're in their spawn. Taking them down yet again. The respawns come through. But they're spawn trapping them. And Insay able to find a couple more in the spawn. And Iowa State can't seem to get anything going in the first round as St. Clair take that one with relative ease. And it's looking like they want to make it their second game for tonight as they are just playing killer precision here. Look at that, just going all the way into their spawn, only allowing them to get one tick on the point. But hey, that's just the defense. Do they have the same gusto for the offense here? We'll see. We'll see if they got it. 
I think this map for sure is a little bit easier to play on the defensive side with those long sight lines. Just one or two kills can shut down the push in a matter of an instant. But let's see if the Saints can prove me wrong and just come out firing frenzy. I mean, a bit of a rough round there. Oh, and eight in the first round. Considering how well he's been playing this entire series, we'll need to step it up if they really want to make their way back into this. But Brandon and Slayer are able to start it off hot. And Saints are going to be on that A objective very, very early. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Brandon on this high ground, looking for some shots to the wall there. Won't find anything. Please, he does go down. Brandon finds one, won't be able to find the second. Some nice kills coming out from Iowa. KB is able to find one, though. Finds the second with the pistol. Great shots from him there. Saints aren't really looking to get on top of the control. It looks like too much. Maybe going for those kills, but Insta's gonna find one. We'll get trade out. Iowa State doing a great job so far this round, kind of stopping the Saints from making any progress, but Brandon's gonna be able to find one there. KB does get taken down yet again, as they're gonna start to capture B, but let's see how the 1v1 goes there. PC does get stunned up, and Brandon goes down as well. Only 45 seconds left for the Saints, and they can't seem to get anything going. Insta on a great flank here. We'll be able to find one. Should be able to find the second great shot from him there as the capture on B will begin, but Cabela is able to find a couple. Brandon Slayer, though, trade those out, and the ticks are gonna come down from St. Clair. And Slayer absolutely frying 14 and two here in this game on the four streak, doing so, so much as Rivers is gonna be able to contest here. KB does go down the other side, and Saints looking to capture that B site as A site. Guest defender from Iowa, two ticks, now gonna be captured up. Let's see how the Saints decide to hold on to this one. And Slayer gonna get pushed, he has to be really careful. Looking for the shots there, won't be able to find it just yet. We'll be able to find one. Nice little flick there with the pistol. Wow. Should be able to find the second as the other side of the map. Two for twos everywhere. Should be B side going over to the Saints as it doesn't look like Iowa State is going to be able to contest. But look at the team lies 15 to 13. Very, very close. Se second round here as point B is secured for the Saints and they have a minute 30 left to secure the other, the other side. Yeah, they're looking very, very good right now. They've been playing for kills for their lives. Are Looking dead even, even right now. They don't have control. That's going to be Iowa State being in control. But Breezy find, finds one. Entry going to find the other. Fuzan going to find one. Back in return. So back and forth here. The Saints are up one kill. Being a little indecisive. The really works out. They get two kills. Fuzan going to get the punish. KB going to get one right back. But ooh, caught lacking by Cabela's there. Pussy's going to go down. Making progress over on A. They almost have one tick. But it looks like Iowa State's going to be the one to squash that there. As they undo all their progress and get the kills here. Only a minute left. St. Clair needs to find some footing here. Needs to find some kills. They're only up one kill right now. They're going to make that two, but it looks like now it's dead even as Brandon goes down. Or uh, Fuzan takes out Pre-Sleeper and takes one down though. Return. Now, KB finds one. Find another. He's trying to get side control, but his back is turned. Brandon's going to take down one. Brandon's going to take down another. Now, no response remaining the on the side of Iowa State. There's only three players left on the team. They're just playing for kills right now. Oh, oh the wow. melee! It's dead even here. Four. One life on the side of St. Clair. All have one life remaining here. Oh, there's no response for either side now. 2v4 situation now for Iowa. And they have to play basically perfect. Just need to kill the Saints members here. Now 4v1 for the Saints. Let's see if they can pick up Brevisi here and take the round home. Should be able to do it. Such a well fought round from both teams. Iowa actually going to be able to pick up one there, but the zones are captured. and. You could see how much hard it is on the attack on this map, so you must think the Saints will be able to close it out here, but Iowa putting up a great fight there in the second round and really bringing it down to the nail. An, an amazing fight indeed. That was down to the wire is the matter of just a few lives that are in the Anna, but as you can see, once you run out, that's going to be hit. It's nearly impossible to push. Now, St. Clair is looking to take this whole series 3-0. If they manage to take this uh, game 3-0, they're looking to do right here as long as they can have the same strong defense they had in the first round. It's going to be the Saints starting off with first pull out and Slayer's able to find one there. Puzan has to be very, very careful to not go down. He will be able to stay alive. Brandon's going to look for the wall bank. Finds a lot of damage, but it's actually going to be Iowa State picking up a couple kills. And Frenzy now picking up that SMG, not playing with the AR. Definitely something interesting to look at as Inslayer finds one. Looking to find the second, won't find it there. 
and see how Frenzy is going to be able to do with the SMG in the spawn of the Saints. Puts himself in a great possession. Vibrissi finds a melee, finds a kill as well there. Frenzy has to find way more here big than he flank. is doing on the flank as the rest of his team's falling. He's going to find a couple big picks though, which is crucial for them. KB on 30 HP will take him down and stop his killing spree there, but Iowa up in team lives, doing a great job so far on this attack, but one thing they aren't doing well is capturing these zones as Saints are able to keep them completely off wow, KB. KB. Now turning it up a little bit after a bit of a slow start as Priestley is gonna find one as well there. Nenslea, 24 and seven on this map. Absolutely amazing performance. He's in the spawn of Iowa State. He's gonna be able to find one there. Well, look for the second. He's on absolute fire right now. Definitely cannot be slowed down. The Saints are finding kills left and right. KB in the spawn now. Gonna find one, gonna look for the second. Will be able to stay alive. They definitely know where he is. He will go down. Let's see what Insta can get down here. Will not be able to find any picks here as Iowa State have to make their way onto the site. Seven seconds and ticking. Priestley will die to an explosion and this might be one more touch coming up from Iowa but I don't think they have enough time. It's ticking, it's ticking and that is it. St. Clair Saints will be able to take the 3-0 in the game mode and a 3-0 overall in this series. A great series from them. Able to really play their best in the cluster when it mattered most and they're able to take a 3-0 over Iowa. Yeah, what an amazing series here. Iowa State just barely missing the mark every single, like, it was that close. They lost by a hair every single time. But nonetheless, the Saints were there to prove something there in the last game there on the control. What a control they did. They just controlled the entire map there, going up to the spawns every single time. The attack was so notoriously hard to do, but they still managed to get the 3-0 sweep. So they went a long way. That was a long drive against the Univers University of Iowa there. But they still have more fights going on. Coming up next, probably starting soon, it's probably 9 o'clock now, it, they're going up against the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. That's going to be a major match. Theo, what do you think of that? Another exciting match. You know, Saints now, though, are warmed up. They just played a whole series, so... Uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be taking them in this next series. They're, they're, they're going to be playing very, very good. They're going to be very sharp. And I think they're going to look to make it a quick one. Yeah, but with all that being said, when you play, you do have the warm-up aspect of it too. But you also have to factor in, do you have it in you to go a whole another series to that caliber? They finished very, very strong but those questions will soon be answered. We're going to throw it to a quick break, and we'll be right back with the second series against the University of Nebraska-Lincoln.